So this is where we're at. Um, I removed the caliper off this side already. 21 millimeter, remove the lug nuts, pull the tire off. Now you're down to your, uh, your caliper or your caliper and your rotor. And basically all it is is these 10 mil, just these long 10 mil bolts that hold it in. And let me show you how to take the caliper down. So after you unbolt it, pull those bolts out. And you'll pull the spring at the top back, pull, pull it down and then pull the caliper back and then slide it up and off the track. And it's light enough to where you can let it hang, but some people like to hang it up with like a coat, coat hanger to not put any stress on this, but I'm not really worried about that. And now you can grab your, your rotors, work them off. And then you'll try to pull these wheel speed sensors out of here. You pull the bolt out and then you might have to tap on the face of this. And when you tap on the face of this, it'll push the sensor out of the back of the hub. So I went and consulted with our, our uh, transmission driveline guy because I kind of do everything. This is not my specialty, but I'm going to do it because it's my car. And he told me to back this bolt off it's a, he said it's been a while since you did it I think you got to back that bolt off and then try to wiggle that wheel speed sensor out some because you'll have to tap the, the axle in to clear the c-clip but I'm noticing that there's so much room in between that wheel speed sensor and the back of the axle you probably don't even need to do that so I went over here and I grabbed the front flange and I turned it until I could get access to this bolt that holds the pin in and it's just a 5 16 so I pulled it out I'm gonna set it over here and then this pin yeah I was gonna say this pin should just slide right out so now the center pin comes out I set it down over here and then this axle should slide in okay it did slide in and then I should be able to turn it back up Oh yeah, that bearing is bad, real bad. I wonder if I could get it to go some more. And then I should be able to pull that clip out of there and see. I'm gonna go ahead and spin it around the rest of the way. Actually. Spin that out, take that out of there, and then that's loose. Then on the back side, get that out of there. And there's a shim up in here. I can take that shim out of there. Now you can see that inner, that inner clip right there even better. Let's see if I can spin it around. It's open face right there. I'm gonna see if I can push it, push it out of there. I'll see if I can push that clip out of there. Okay, so what I did was I had to take my hammer and tap right here on this flange until it actually pushed the axle in some more and pushed this out up against that bolt head and it gave me just enough room, so he is right. The back of that... Try to turn this light on. The back of that tone ring in there pressed up against that sensor and pushed it out up against that bolt. Maybe this, the best thing is to just go ahead and pull that bolt out of there completely. And now it gave me enough room 
to go ahead and slide that clip. It's coming off right now. So now I slid that clip off. And now I can slide my axle out. Possibly go ahead and replace the seals and stuff while you're here also. And now I'm going to go ahead and do it to the other side also. So before I got too far along, I went ahead and, and spun that 27 millimeter nut off of there. I just kind of grabbed this and held it with my hand. It did spin a little bit, but I used my impact and I spun that 27 millimeter nut off. And then I came over here and I started pulling these 19 millimeter strap bolts that go into this carrier out. You can see once you get them, once you get them broke loose, they'll just come right out. So that's what I'm working on right now is taking them out. They're really tight. Okay, so basically just uh, take a nine mil wrench. Now that you've got the guts out of this, the axles are out, everything's apart. There's nothing left, no spider gears in the center of this. Your center pins out and you take a wrench and our trans guy said you put it right here on one of these bolts and you rotate this until it goes all the way up and that wrench is pushing up against the top. And when you do that, you rotate the pinion down and what it does is it forces that into the housing and it pushes the whole entire assembly out as you're doing it. And the thing, the chunk, you see how far out it is already? I was doing it by hand. And now all I gotta do is just take a little pry bar or a big giant screwdriver and just pull it the rest of the way out and it'll slide right out. Okay, so there's the carrier. I got the carrier all out. And then I took my hammer and I knocked, I knocked the pinion forward because I'm not gonna reuse it or you could use a two jaw puller and pull the flange out. Now you see all that rust and stuff in there? That bearing was shot before I even, see when I put that that bearing was already shot. I should have never, I should have waited on that seal and stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna knock that bearing and stuff out this way with a hammer. I'm gonna catch this lip back here. I'm gonna knock the bearing and uh, seal out that way. And then I'm gonna turn around and knock this race right here out. Cause they're gonna give me a new one. Okay, so that, the yoke. There's tons of rust in it, man. It's so rusty. There's that outer bearing that I knocked out. Look at all the rust all over it. So you can see now I've got the housing all cleaned out. I've got that front bearing over here and uh, the race knocked out. I stuck my point. And you gotta hit a little bit on one side, hit a little bit on the other side. Once it starts walking, you walk it out that way and then you come in from the other side and you knock this out, this inner race right here out this way. And then you clean everything up. And uh, tomorrow, where tomorrow or the next day, whenever we get all the parts in, we'll do the install. Be careful not to do what I did. You see right there. I'm trying to fix that little gouge. I let my punch get too far. There's even a little bit on the other side as well. And I gotta use a little burring tool to clean it up. Well, to finish it up, I'll show you how much metal is left on this plug. That's a lot of metal on that plug. So I could already tell the fill plug, the magnetic part has so much metal on it like that. This this was it was already failing. That whole thing's full of metal. With all that rust and stuff in there and that metal collecting, it was only time before this. I'm glad it I'm glad I went ahead and tore it apart now instead of it going out on me on the road. Oh I did I didn't see that. I didn't I did not see that right there at all. Wow. Well, let's uh, get the parts in and see what we're going to do.